What's up, Rage and Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching a Rage and Ronin review. I got a review for you. I saw Proud Mary. It's an action thriller starring Taraji P. Henson as the title character, Danny Glover, and it's directed by Babak Najafi, who directed London Has Fallen, which I thought was a mildly entertaining film. It was quite enjoyable, I found. And now we have Proud Mary. And the main reason why I wanted to watch this was because it was a modern black exploitation film, and we don't get too many of these films nowadays. So I thought, let's check it out. And when you're watching this film from beginning to end, you can really tell that it takes a lot of stylistic cues from 70s black exploitation films, and I really appreciate that. Now, as for the film itself, it really isn't that great, like, at all. <laughs> I mean, for an action film, it's just blah. But what was I expecting, really? Was I really expecting anything that great? You can't really expect something that great. I mean, even black exploitation films back then, you know, they were great back then, but when you look back at them, they're pretty bad, but it's kind of like they're so bad they're good because you respect the era. But bringing that now, man, people have higher standards now. And I really respect and appreciate the fact that they're trying to make a black exploitation film now, but I think that if they're gonna make a film like this, they should make uh, a film poking fun at, you know, black exploitation films. But they're trying to take this seriously, like really make a serious black exploitation film, and it's just a really, really poor execution. This film is just blah. It is just action scenes that make you go, eh. And it is really just bland and um, predictable. The entire film is completely predictable, predictable with every scene. You know what is going to happen. You have all of these cliche of story points that you've seen in every film, like any film, okay? You've seen all these things before, thus making it very, very predictable. Another thing that I gotta say is that, okay, this film stars Taraji P. Henson. She's also an executive producer on this film. Therefore, she thought it was a great idea to make this film happen, starring herself. Unfortunately, like, I, I know and I, I'm positive and acknowledge the fact that she went through, like, training, gun training, combat training, but it really doesn't show in this film, like, at all. A lot of the action scenes, I'm thinking, like, she could have really done a lot more to really showcase that she was a true badass. Like, for example, Charlize Theron in Atomic Blonde and a lot of other femme fatale characters in a lot of other um, action movies that, have you know, we've seen in the past, but... I gotta say that none of that training really, really shows. In fact, it like the way she handles herself just makes her look pretty weak and pretty just standard. Like she's just really, really standard. And it doesn't sell the movie. Unfortunately, like none of the action scenes are really, really that great, except for like maybe this musical montage with just a lot of uh, killing and 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 uh, a body count. But you know, it's it's really gimmicky. You know, it's just it's just a, a gimmicky thing to do that. Um, but you know, that's the way black exploitation films are. But when you bring it back now, it just doesn't work, unfortunately. Um, there's not much more I can really say about this. I mean, bland action sequences, uh, a poor physical performance, um, a predictable plot. Like, from beginning to end, really, really predictable. Like, you really know what's going to happen and how everything's going to go down. And just pretty forgettable. I'm going to give this film a 3.5 for effort out of 10. Um, you know, uh, what can I say? 3.5, I mean, it's bad, but it isn't that bad. It just doesn't try hard enough to really be that great. But how great can you really make this film, really? So like I said, three and a half out of 10. I mean, if you're really, really bored, go check it out if it's showing in your city. As always, if you enjoyed this review and you want to see more, hit that like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also follow me on Twitter, Rage Nation. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.